I'm on my way to work. It's Monday night. I can't see anything with this light in my face. But I'm going to try and make a go of getting to work. Uh, did I say it's Monday night already? Yeah, well, it is Monday night. I just got through the Sunday night and I did not record anything at the end of that shift because, well, first of all, I was sleeping. And then I was awakened by the mobile data terminal tell me that I had a trip. I had 20 minutes in which to do that trip, get back to the gas station, fuel up, and bring the car back. Okay, I was five minutes late bringing the car back, but there was nobody waiting for me, which is just great. Uh, okay, so the night was slow until about 10 o'clock. I think I had 50 or $60 on by 10 o'clock. And then the vast majority of everything was between 10 and one or so. And then it got quiet again. And it was quiet the rest of the night. I watched quite a few videos. In total, I did about $208 worth of business with an $85 lease and $17 of fuel. That means I made myself $106 on which I have to pay income tax. <laughs> there you go. So it's not always glorious. Sometimes it's well, disappointing, but you can't have any luck if you're not out there. You can't get that good trip if you're not in the car. So before I walk in, whoop, <laughs> I walked into a curb. I mis, uh, misjudged the distance. Well, I should have known that something was wrong when I almost walked into a pole just a second or two before that. But I didn't trip, I didn't fall on my face, and I didn't break the phone. Pretty good, now I can see the road, and it's going down this way. I'll get back to you at the end of this Monday night, and let you know how it went. Hopefully I'm in the frame here. I'm not really good at aiming these things with the light shining right in my face. Airport, 4.32 a.m. Um, Mostly a slow night. I got just over 200 before the airport run. And the airport run was another $40. Did she tip me? I don't even know. Let me check. It says here. It says here. Oh, she did. She tipped me $6. That was nice of her, wasn't it? Yeah, she's flying to Toronto for some kind of a, um, a sales thing where they have some kind of convention center and they make a big shopping mall out of it for two weeks. And she's uh, representing some local product that they make here that they that's based here so that's exciting the rest of the night oh, I must have gone to sleep about six times in between calls in the morning hours uh, it was uh, was relatively slow anyway I'm thankful for this uh, run to the airport that that helps me out a lot makes for my Monday night to be better Now I'm going to make my way back to town, maybe pass the car through the car wash, and then uh, uh, maybe I'll wait a bit before doing the car wash thing. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. So now I find myself walking home in the dark. 
And what happened was, it was a reasonably good night, and uh, I ended up doing quite well. About, uh, I don't know, 270 or so. Much of the morning was, it was busy before midnight. I, I had like 200 on at 1 o'clock. The rest of the night, well, I had a drug run. And so I... I, I took this, took uh, took my friend to get, uh, excuse me, some drugs, and then this was uh, pretty early, like at around ten o'clock. Then I didn't hear anything from her. Nothing. I heard nothing from her. I even went to sleep a couple times in the morning, and I had a call that went. Um, That was uh, pretty far away, and my phone makes a noise, and can you come? And I said, no, I'm picking up at wherever I was, which was far away from her, and after I drop this off, I have to return the car. <sighs> so, and then, I thought that was it. And then she sent me the message again. Can you come? It's only a short one. And I said, I didn't answer that. And then I thought, she's going to leave me alone now. She says, then, after a few minutes, while I'm driving my customer somewhere, okay, how long? Uh, with a couple of emoticons after that. And uh, I didn't answer that. I was busy driving. And uh, again, after I dropped the customer off, can you come? And I'm going, oh, all right. So I take, I go and get her. We're going to a nearby hotel. We get to the nearby hotel where she meets up with someone who has to go somewhere else to get what she's getting. So we end up driving a greater distance than the short little distance we were talking about. And I said, look, I gotta get this car back. And then since the gas station was right across the street from the hotel, I went and fueled up and she said, can you come back and get me? Oh, shit. And I just said, this is a clusterfuck. This, uh, you know, when I tell you I'm busy and I have to get the car back, that means I'm busy and I have to get the car back. That does not mean I can come and pick you up. It turned out that there was no day driver waiting for me when I got back half an hour late because of this. But it stressed me out and worked me up and got me really pissed off. So I'm at home now. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, it's 6, 16 in the morning. I'm going this way here and I'm gonna go park the cab. It's been an eventful enough night and uh, now it's focusing. Hey, there you go. It's been an eventful enough night that um, I did $350 worth of business. <sighs> Had uh, quite a few calls. I didn't have any chance to really take a break all night long. There's the other car. A sister car to this one. I haven't had a chance to take a break, really. I mean, I, I watched uh, some videos and stuff, and I tried to get through a movie. But I, oh, it's, yeah, we're backing up now. We're backing into the spot here. Uh, right about here, something like this. Good enough. Uh, Okay, now I got this light in my face again, so I'm probably going to trip over myself 
on the way home. Uh, let's see. I was busy and steady. I told you already how much I made. And I had Mr. Generous twice. That That's what kind of helped. Uh, I picked him and his brother up and dropped them both off. And he says, can I call you later? And I said, well, yeah. If I'm not busy, I can come and get you. Well, what had happened was I took a fare downtown from Gorge West, the extreme Gorge West, like the 900 block. And she went to the McDonald's down on Pandora, which is a good fare, a very good fare. I <sighs> dropped her off, and from there I was heading west on Pandora, and they're trying to send me out to May Street, which I rejected. I didn't feel like going there. Then I got sent to a time call after that at the at a hotel downtown. So I went there and just two minutes before the time call was due, I got a call from Mr. Generous to come and get him at the other end of town. Well, I waited the two minutes until the time call was due. Then I called the number, and it was the front desk of the hotel. And I told them I'm outside for Mr. whatever the name was. And the uh, guy says, let me check the book. He said, we have no guest of that name staying here, and we have no knowledge of this call. I said, hmm interesting well I called mr. generous back telling him that my customer didn't show up he says you know what I was about to do I was about to call another cab and I said well that's up to you do you want me to come and get you or are you gonna call another cab he says come and get me okay he says and call me when you're two minutes away Right. Well, I was halfway there, and he called me. He says, where are you? And I told him, I'm passing Gateway Village. I'll be there soon. I'll call you from the overpass. So I called him from the overpass, and I said, I'm at the overpass. He says, I'll be coming out. Okay, good. <sighs> then I told him the story about the call that didn't materialize. In that I suspected that it was the dispatcher messing around with me because they do that sometimes especially the one who was working today he uh, he sometimes puts in fake calls to punish you for not taking something else that he wanted you to take well it was far away and it was inconvenient so I didn't take it end of story well I told mr. generous about this he says, let's go beat him up. I said, no, nah, it's not worth the effort. I've been dealing with this dispatcher for more than 20 years, and you're not going to change him, and it's not worth the effort to beat him up. It's not going to change anything. It's only going to make him more of a prick. So anyway, enough of that. I got him to his destination. It was like a $25 ride, he gave me $60. So, off of Generous, I made like $110 tonight. So it would have been a $240 night or so. It ended up being a $350 night. Of course, I dealt with him for one hour, one uh, a half an hour twice. So that's one hour in that one hour, I would have made maybe another $20, $30 from the $240, I figured. So $270, yeah, just like the night before. But it ended up being like $350. Uh, that was the Wednesday night. One more night to go this week. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, well, we're at the airport. 
and we're leaving this mess that is beginning to happen here and what are you doing huh. there's the flowers you can barely see them and and we're off um, I've done all right I'm in the high 200s anyway, and it's uh, 4.36 in the morning. It's been uh, successful enough, I suppose. This is my, fri my Friday, well, it's a Thursday night, and it's Friday morning, and I've worked most of the Yeah, I've fallen asleep a couple times and trying to watch videos. Every time I start to watch a video, I fall asleep. Then uh, after a little while, I get awakened to, to do another call. And that's the way the whole thing has been going so far. Yeah. Let's take the inside. There we go. We are out of there. Yeah, I think it's been okay this week. I'm tired. I've had enough. Even most of the night I was dragging my ass. I just didn't re really want to be here anymore. And I'm just thrilled that it's over. I had these three ladies that I picked up at three different places go downtown to a department store. They were starting early. They, they started at like four o'clock because it's Black Friday and they had to prepare everything in the store and then they were crying about how they have to work Boxing Day too and I said well you know that's retail and I told them that as soon as I park this thing at six o'clock in the morning I'm going to not have to touch a taxi again until Sunday night. And so it goes. And I hope yours is better than mine. <laughs>